We're at Dave and Steve from The Happy Pair, and today we are making for you carrot cake muffins. These are epic, gluten-free, vegan, next level. Take about 30 minutes to make, uh, here we go. First step, we're gonna make a flax egg. So we have three tablespoons of ground flax seeds, and then on top we're gonna add in nine tablespoons of water. Give it a good mix, just making sure that all the flax seeds are covered in water and leave it sit. This is gonna work as our egg replacer. It's gonna coagulate and function as the binder for this. Next up, we're gonna start with our dry ingredients. So I'm gonna add in our flour. We're using gluten-free flour, but use whatever flour you have into a large mixing bowl. We sieved it, so best to sieve it, it'll just make it lighter and fluffier. Okay, I've got two teaspoons of baking powder. That's our rising agent. Half a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda. Now to add the spices, we've got half a teaspoon of allspice. It's gonna give a nice kind of depth of flavor to it. We've got a teaspoon of cinnamon. Bringing in the fragrant spices that go so well with carrot. Aromatic. Oh, Actually, very my good. Dearest brother. Salt works really well. We've got half a teaspoon of salt. And then we've got our walnuts. These are just chopped walnuts. So that's all the dry ingredients. It's just a matter of mixy mixy now. Well, he's done that now, it's time for me to do the wet ingredients. In a bowl, we're gonna add in our sunflower oil. This is the fat. We've 175 ml. Next step, 175 ml of maple syrup. If you can't get maple syrup, you could use agave syrup or any other form of liquid sweetener. We're gonna last thing put in our carrots. So we got 200 grams of grated carrot, ideally grated finely like this. It'll just make it spread through the cake better and make a better mouthfeel. And last step, we have vanilla extract. And now you'll see our flax eggs. They've already started to coagulate. We're gonna pour them straight in. In they go. Beauty. Mix all our ingredients together. As with any baking, any cake, wet ingredients into dry ingredients. So make a little well in the dry ingredients, and in it goes. And then it's pretty much the mixy-mixy game. Just stir it all together into one cohesive mixture. Okay, we've got a standard muffin tray or cupcake tray. We've literally lined it with um, lovely little cupcake infills. Use whatever type of color you want. Don't worry if it's quite loose now, it will once it bakes, rise up beautifully. And the fantastic thing about the carrot is the carrot adds loads of moisture and of course gives that carrot taste. If you're looking to fill these about three quarter height because they're gonna fill up and just go slightly over the rim. The oven's been preheated to 180 degrees and we're gonna put these straight in. Cupcakes are in the oven, time to make our cream cheese frosting. So as we said, this is vegan, so we're gonna make our cream cheese from scratch. So what we've done is we've taken 400 ml of soya yogurt, we've put it in muslin here like this, in a sieve, on a bowl, and let it drain overnight. And what happens is that it drains a lot of the water. You lose about half the weight, thus leaving us with about 200 ml or 200 grams of cream cheese. We're gonna pop it into our blender. This recipe is fabulous in that you can really just change this to be savory very easy. Just add a little bit of salt, a little bit of mixed herbs, olives, whatever you're into. We have 75 ml of agave syrup. Last step, we have 90 ml of melted coconut oil. This is gonna give a good bit more body to the cream cheese. Yeah, just add fat, so make it just creamier. We're gonna put this in the blender and we're gonna blend it until it forms an emulsion. Emulsion's fancy word for kind of like a mayonnaise-like texture. Here we go, the big reveal. Ready for it? It's gonna be like a custard or mayonnaise-like <gasps> texture. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow, look at that. So cereal. it really does. You see it sticks to the side. You see it's kind of got quite a thick texture. Wow, creamy. While we leave our cupcakes cool, we're gonna put this in the fridge just to cool, and as it cools, it's gonna go a lot thicker. Cupcakes have cooled. Really important before you ice them. Leave them cool perfectly. Because if not, the cream cheese frosting is just gonna go bleh, all down bleh. the side, and it won't work. First one, here we go. So we're just gonna cover them and top with a walnut. So if you're traditionalist, you can leave them as they are, but if you're kind of someone who likes to kind of play with things, grate a bit of chocolate, freeze-dried raspberry, chop some pistachios, play with it. These options are infinite. Et voila! There we are, 12 of them. Um, so this is a simple recipe. It took about pretty an hour, including cooling time in total. Uh, and now for the moment of glory. Look at that, look at the reveal, look, it's beautiful. It's okay, really here festive. we go, this is for you, dedicating this to you. Thank you for watching, you're wonderful. And please subscribe, hit the button down below. We'd really appreciate it.